point two up. Here we go, Snake versus Lucina. But again, Wraith beat uh, Great Gonzalez in Grand Finals two days ago, which was uh, not not unheard of, but definitely like a aha uh -huh moment. So this Snake's been on fire. Let's see if he can try to keep up that momentum against Mr. E's Lucina. Now, Mr. E's Lucina is going to be different than Great Gonzalez as anything. You know, what is that supposed time. to mean? It's supposed to mean that... Uh, Explain. Oh, well, that... So, uh, huh? Mr. E is a more of a... Like, his goal really is about stage positioning. Okay. He gets so much off of stage positioning. Oh, I thought I wanted to focus on guns. I thought you were trying to. I thought you were trying to throw shade. Okay, never mind. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Shade. I, I thought you were trying to throw what? shade. I was gonna say I love guns. Here we go. Final destination. I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth. Final I'm destination with guns. We I'm got just game saying one. That they have different <laughs> approaches to how they're gonna get you know a big damage in from neutral. Salty fun. Both players are at high percent on their first stock, <laughs> but only one of them dies to uh, forward smash. There we go. Got to look out for that C4 as he tries to get back down to the ground. Mystery is going to be looking for these up airs, one of the quickest tools in his arsenal. It's a lot of it as well. Just waits for him to go back down to the ground, gets the up tilt, gets the kill, and gets the stock. Great job with the frame trap right there. Ooh! Especially because stay. Ooh, kick him. Yeah. And he down smash is pretty, pretty neat. Kick um, him. Okay. Gonna be able to air dodge back onto the stage. This is what Wraith is gonna do, right? Every single time Mystery chases after him mid air, he's gonna pull out one of those uh, grenades to try to cover his landing. But every single time that Mystery swings at him, there's gonna be a trade involved. And Snake is the heavier character, so he he wants that trade. Honestly, he just wants to get back down to the ground. This stage control from Mystery out of this world, just applying pressure, not allowing Wraith to play his games. That, that's that's going to be the play style like you mentioned earlier with Mr. E. He loves to play the rushdown game. That man is going to get in your face. Okay, sitting at 107%. Good mash. Get that get up attack out of here. Push him back. Oh, c was underfoot. Yeah, he thankfully saw it coming or he just jumped. Try to chase after him. Look it out. You see that wiggle? You see that Nikita wiggle? <laughs> My man was just, oh, hey. Good tech coming out from Racing, a 72%, 84 now. Goes for the oh. dancing blade, trying to catch a spot dodge, but still managed to connect that third swing of it. Okay, there goes the forward throw, some safe positioning again. This is possible to get another frame trap. Okay, he actually gets, Woo! oh my god. That I am, if I'm not wrong, that forward air would have killed. That would have been um, destructive. Again, another forward smash coming out. Might have just been a missed input because that, that would not have killed this person. Maybe. Actually, hold on. I think it's pretty strong. That much rage on the edge of the stage. Question mark. Thinking emoji. Look out for that C4. It's planted. <laughs> right into foot. Oh, God. Look, look out behind you. Okay, here we go. Back air. 122. Catch the landing. Oh, man. Once again, good job of like throwing out the aerial at just the right height where, it, it, you know, avoiding it doesn't really give any advantage to rage. It's just Stuck in that awful spot. Mr. E is doing a fantastic job of pushing this advantage state. Like, right, like, first off, he has to recover high every single time because that's the snake wave. You try to recover low, that's a free spike. Do the honorable thing and blow yourself up with C4. Kills him with Nair. No, even, no zoom in. I, I don't think Wraith expected himself to die right there from I mean, second swing of Nair. It might have been bad DI, or it might just be that the game forgets that Lucina's yeah. air is that strong. Yeah. <laughs> there, there has been times when the zoom in be. doesn't happen and they DI, and it's like, what? Okay, no zoom in for me. I mean, yeah. That's all. Mystery taken away, game numero, um, what's, how do you say, one in, uh, is it Eins? Eins. One oh. Going to game Zwei. Wait, Ainz, like Herzog Zwei. Have you ever played Herzog Zwei? Herzog that is a godlike Sega Genesis game. You guys ever have ever played it? Wait, Herzog play Zwei? Herzog Zwei. Like Werner Herzog? Uh, I don't know. Three, I'm imagining, game. Now I'm imagining a guy like, like a, It's like a strategy oh. game, but then you also shoot people with your, with your ship. Anyways. This doesn't sound like a game that Werner Herzog would make. Kel's Pokemon League. <laughs> Really? You want to change uh, the subject? You don't want to talk more about the hypothetical game that Verna heard So would Mystery's made? already got him at 72% salty. Look at that. That damage is a racket. Like a, like a, I don't know. What do we I think? Was, like, what, 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 what is it? I was going to say like, like a stampede, you know? A one-man stampede, stampede. stampede. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he's in no jump. That lead's gone now. 
<laughs> God, you're right. I, for, I, I forgot to look at the percents. I'm like, yeah, you only hit him like three I times. I love Wraith's escape right there. Did you see how many explosions went off, man? Cool guys don't look at explosions. He was doing a demolition derby. Just trying to get back I to that platform. I don't think that's what that means. Wait, hold on. Demolition of the building. Did I do it right that time? There were explosions. He's doing Uncontrolled the demolition. I'm not going to stop this. Here we go, 136%. Oh, one goes to the other one. Did that hit the Cypher? Is that what happened? Yeah, he hit the Cypher, but not Snake. <laughs> you got to be able to hit Snake with that nonsense. 37 gets caught by the explosion. He, he hid the C4 under the grenade. Got to look out for it. The thing is, when you plant that C4, it's going to blink red for like the first couple of seconds, but then it's up to you to remember where he planted it. Gonna be dropping it from that high in there. Opts to go for the grenade instead. Wraith playing the disadvantage game. As long as he holds on to the stock lead, he can carry this a long way. Eventually, though, his explosion will start killing himself. So, especially at 159. Oh! Oh, didn't want to challenge it. Opts to double jump away because he was out of jumps. Mystery was able to capitalize with that up air. It's the kill. Forward throw tosses him off. Eats a double jump. He's going super deep. Snake recovering low. Mystery capitalizing air dodge? Yes, sir. I like that idea of baiting out, you know, sort of going off there and threatening that I'm going to go all in, but he doesn't, and that means that, oh, uh, he tried to go for, like, the more effective, like, the bigger punish of the forward smash on the way back. Unfortunately, Raze was just able to play around that as well. And now Mystery is taking almost 80%. And it feels like the zoning game, like the, the projectile game, has just really leveled up on Wraith since, you know, this game started. Yeah. Look at that! Stun and Kina coming through! Now Wraith has a pretty healthy lead right now. Can easily go for more trades with the explosions. Oh, gosh. But Mystery's not going to give him the chance to pull out that grenade. There he is. Oh, obstacle for the C4. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know if he knew he had that on the ground or not. Uh, Dash attack is a quick burst option. Oh, I like the idea of down air to stall a bit, but... I'm pretty sure he lost his double jump, so he had to go for that fast fall afterwards. This is a hard position to be in. Go good way found, so that C4 kind of picks up his timing, plus plants it on the platform. More grenades coming out, forward tilt. And mainly that is kind of one of the weaknesses of Snake, is if you saw, like, you know, Mr. E did this up beyond the platform there, and he didn't really have an ability to, like, rush in and hit him, you know? He doesn't have those... Snake doesn't really have a burst option outside of dash attack. Oh, is he going to get him with the uppy? I'm liking this strategy. It's much more effective. He's dead. Yeah. I think, yeah, because if he would have dropped the C4, that, I think that probably would have killed him. He was at 189. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah like there was just no way. <laughs> All right, here we go. I mean, honestly, towards the stage mystery, probably just would have killed him anyway, so it's not no harm, really, that, in that SD. He's going to jump right into this mystery, bring it back little by little, down by 70%. Good call out right there and recognizes he's not going to go for that second swing of forward tilt. Goes for the grab as a punish. Up air, honestly, keeping him airborne. Um, a lot of these uh, winner's quarters matches, uh, we've almost seen an upset. You know, we almost had Rishi beating Till. We almost had uh, Soul Surf beating uh, Utopian Ray. I think this is the last sort of chance for us to see an upset in winner's quarters. And Wraith right now is losing his lead. It's, it seems that Mr. E is getting back in control. As I say, that he's at 116%. This is pretty close to death for both players. And that C4 is just a little bit of a wall between Mr. E and where he wants to be, which is in Wraith's face. Oh. Trying to go for the shield grab again. Look out for that C4. Going to give him some breathing room there, preventing Mr. E from being able to approach. And Sage is going to chill center stage. Hold on to that stage control, rack up the percent bit by bit, 112 to 118. Raw Nikita missile mid-stage? You would not. Yeah, Raid's looking for an up tilt. Def. Nikita off stage. Mystery trying to swing it. I like the curvature of that. Trying to go for the parry on the shield breaker and gets the C4, gets the kill. Raid bringing this to a game three situation. Salty, it was funny because you mentioned this would be an upset. While that is a true statement, you gotta remember, my man is currently carrying momentum from winning New Jersey tournament. That's Being true. the best player in New Jersey, for not a really, night. For, for, for a night, according to Dill City, he's the best player in New Jersey. Anyways, game three, um, no shade. Mystery's counterpick. Do you have any thoughts about where Mystery's gonna be bringing this guy, bringing this bad boy? Because um, I, I got a couple in my head. not Callus. Uh, yeah. I think probably hmm, perhaps a 
Maybe a battlefield? Bit of a smaller I think stage. Wraith might actually ban. Oh, never mind. I thought Wraith was going to ban Battlefield against him. But then again, Snakes do like Battlefield a lot. It's just sorties get so much mileage off those triplats and the close quarters. And also, the landing is going to be a lot harder for him. He doesn't yep. have those side platforms that Kalos did. He's going to have to land on top of the triplats, which Lucina is so good at covering. You know, she can get Sark from underneath. Uh, this is definitely, if one, winning game two is rough, getting this game three is going to be even rougher. There's no reason he can't do it, but it's still going to be, it's going to be difficult for him to actually cinch this one. Okay, dropping those grenades in the Gita. Coming in with a down air, a very brazen approach. You don't see Mr. E go for that as much as he did in the past game. There we go, dropping some more grenades. I like how Mystery's fighting around the grenades. You know, you gotta you got treat fighting characters like Snake or people that have like trap characters like the Zoners, if you wow. will, as like, you know, it's an obstacle horse. Oh, you know, I was wondering how Wraith would do in this game three, but honestly, the, the parries he's showing us. Like, I feel like if you start parrying everything, it's because you're confident. It's because you are like starting to like figure out and know what you need to do. And as this game keeps evolving more and more into the meta, you're seeing a lot more players feel insanely comfortable with the pairing mechanic. Oh, good call out. That up tilt almost did it. That up smash almost did it. The up tilt. Okay. A shield breaker almost did it. Not really. He was on. The oh, oh, so sneaky. Did, did you know you Snake go. came from a stealth game? Smash wants you to know. Yeah, uh, Snake's first appearance in any video game ever was Metal Gear Solid 2. Who's Anywho, the protagonist of Metal Gear Solid 1? 156% on rate. No, you didn't answer me. Answer yeah, me. Edge guard right now. <laughs> looking for this up air. Oh, good. I like Ooh. that. The, I don't know if the grenade. I don't think the grenade saved him. I think he was going to be fine. But, but it did it, give him extra height. It's a funny moment to think that the grenade saved him. So I'll go with that. Yeah, he gave him some extra height. Seven to the corner. 192 percent. He actually got out of the corner. That's like I feel like that's when Mr. E is just so good is when his opponent is trapped in the corner on high percents, and he just rolled right through him. And Wraith is living the dream, man. Two hundo. Can I get three hundo? This counter pick is kind of working against Mr. E because these bigger blast zones mean that he is doing a lot better at surviving. Finally, the upbeat, intangible, all that good stuff is going to be taking rates for stock. But 60% on Mr. E, nothing at all that he can't come back from. But now that Wraith has a lead, he can maybe start to play to that lead. Never mind, he's just going to dash attack his face. And if I'm going to be oh, real, nuts. I don't think it's the blast zones that's affecting Mr. E. If you notice that all the moves he's hitting him with aren't necessarily kill moves. There you was know? definitely a forward air that would have killed. I'll, I'll believe it. When the grenade hit him, he would have died from it. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hey, and after that, 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 that. <laughs> All right, we got some more up airs. Great, 7%. Back there. And we're chilling underneath that platform. Mystery hungry for the reverse area rush back air. Can he get it? Look out for that C4, man. Always got to keep your eyes on it. It's playing a mini game, man. Can you survive the mini game? And then after that, can you outplay your opponent? Let's go. My man's playing Mario wow. Party out here. You see how close? If that was Brawl, he'd be dead. Oh, tradesies! That up tilt almost did it again. There we go, Mystery's got advantage. Slight lead in his favor. Honestly, the air dodge, misses the back air. Oh, baby! Forward tilt doesn't do it. The stage coming in so clutch. He went him. so deep for that. Oh my god, Mystery died. dies! And now it's 164 on Wraith. I thought that was last stock for a second, so I was like, oh no, that's not how you No, we've got an it. entire other stock that Wraith needs to get through and before we'll... he can call this match his. And once again, my man is surviving 178%. Mystery has done a total of almost 400 damage in these first two stocks alone. There we go, good punish. Up he had a shield, gets the dash attack, brings us to a last stock situation between the two competitors. Okay, avoid that C4 on the bottom platform, looking for this yeah. opening. These low percents sort of historically in this game have gone to Mr. E, where he's able to get damn, really, a lot of damage really quickly. Right there, though, already managing to get a lot of percent at 60. But as what I think is going to happen is like as soon as he loses, as Wraith loses stage control, let's see how much damage he eats, because I have a feeling it's going to be quite a bit. And oh, he, and he reads the options, but he gets out of there. These fade away forward airs coming out from Mr. E are doing a fantastic job of applying on a lot of mileage off of them being incredibly safe because they're spaced as well. Even though he hits with a back, you're just taking those trades yet again and again. This Race, 99% up above the stage. This is so even, 114 on him. Now, oh my god, the back air not connecting though. He was the too high. 
Mr. E is putting on pressure, though. He doesn't want to give him a chance to, like, find his footing to get his bearings. Instead, he gets the back. Is that going to be enough? At 150, it will after fighting so hard tooth and nail. It's just not going to be quite enough. Mr. E takes the set, moving on to winner's set. He takes the set how he played the whole set, man. The entire time, he was just keeping Snake up above in disadvantage. And there was just nothing Wraith could have done. Like it, it, like it was a struggle. Like you made a, you made a remark how it was like uh, mind blowing that Wraith made it back to stage off the ledge. You know, so it's just like Mystery just did a really good job, just keeping him off there. And that's well, he was playing I the think, matchup correctly. I think one of the